different program and stuff out so hopefully this all works and doesn't look too weird um, the program I was using was getting a little weird on me so I'm doing things a little different so hopefully it doesn't look too choppy and stuff and just bear with me in the first fuse while I do this um, also I got some new music uh, I got this made on Fiverr by a, a gentleman um, I think he's out of Portugal I'm not sure I'll share uh, I'll share his uh, information in the description um, yeah he, he did this uh, music for me I love it so I just gave him a couple of examples, and this is what he came up with. So, um, today uh, I'm going to be tying a little caddis emerger style pattern. Um, it's kind of like a mayfly emerger, but the wing setup is more of a tent style, not a splay. So, it's more of a caddis, but uh, uh, can be taken as an injured mayfly as well. Really successful pattern. Um, lots of uh, flotation in this one. It's got uh, four little uh, feathers of CDC, and it's using the Semperfly Capoc, which is uh, that very high floating uh, dubbing. Um, and then it's using the new um, um, Semperfly uh, Perfect Quills um, in the, for the body. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, and like I said, let me know what, you, what you're thinking. Uh, let me know what you think of the music, of the new music, and let me know what, uh, what kind of stuff you guys have been tying, what you guys want me to tie in the future. So lines and on the video. So in the vise today <clears throat> we have a Hens BL550 in a size 12 clink camera hook. Um, I also use the BL554 for this pattern. Uh, it's just a little this has a little flatter of a of a thorax section up here um, than the 554 does. The 554 is more of a full bend, more of a scud hook. But <clears throat> for the um, for the thread on this one, I will be using some Semperfly uh, Nano Silk in copper. Um, for the body, I'll be using the new um, three mil Perfect Quill in cinnamon. Um, these these also come in many different colors. They just came out with a whole bunch of new new colors. Um, so there's a, a brown, a golden olive, a light olive, and a dun. I tell you, this dun, I absolutely love this dun for chronomids. I use this for chronomids as well. Segments, I'm like, you wouldn't believe. Um, for the uh, uh, little bit of uh, dubbing that I'm going to use on it, I'm using the Semperfly Capoc dubbing. Floats forever and a day. And then for the wing, I'll be using two different colors of the Hens CDC. Okay, pretty simple. Um, love how this one sits in the water. Um, it really, it gets more of an emerger, a caddis type emerger, um, but works really, really well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The uh, fires here in Alberta are still affecting me. They're, um, I get, we got a smoke warning out again, like we have almost every darn day lately. So it's uh, not the greatest, and I'm going to probably sneeze again because I can feel it coming. We'll see. Yep, excuse me about for that, guys. <laughs> so now, all you do here, these are, like I said, they're synthetic and they are sticky on one side. So you just uh, get onto the uh, sheet here and just peel them off. So, just peels it off. Now it's sticky on one side and it's thinner and goes to thick, so it tapers. So I always start with the, the thinner and I'll cut it to where I want my the thickness of my rib. So I'll cut some of that real fine taper off. So I've got that on. Like I said, I got the sticky side out because when I turn it over, it's going to be um, sticky side down, right? So now I'm cranking on this pretty hard because I want that to be flat. I don't want it to be a bump back there. So now I'm just going to come run this forward, leaving about two to three hook eyes in the front and coming back to where I tied it in. Right at there where I stopped. This is all this is doing is evening the body out. So when I wrap this perfect quill, I don't have this big bump in the back. Okay. I always like putting out a little half itch or 
whip finish in right there just in case I bump it. It's good good practice. I don't do it all the time, but it's good practice after each stage to put a half hitch. So now, right now this side is sticky. So now I'm gonna, as I turn it over, the sticky stays down. And now you can see that this has got a two-tone, right? It's got a light and a dark. That dark is going to act as a rib. So you don't want to cover that light up, right? So you make sure that you're doing touching wraps, not overlapping wraps, right? It'll give you that little bit of segmentation. Now, if I would have done this with a white thread underneath, the segmentation would stand out a lot more. So it depends what you're doing. Um, change up your thread. I like this just barely having a segmentation here. Um, I've found that when caddis are coming off, quite often when they're emerging, they'll be a little darker as they're pulling out. So, come on, come off of there. So, I just cut that off. And if I wanted to, I could um, just do a little quick little UV coating on that. Um, it will darken it slightly, so it depends what you're doing. So remember that if you're going to do UV coatings on certain things, um, that uh, it may darken it. So now I'm just going to loosen off my hook a little bit, my vise, just turn it so it's a little flatter up here. Come back to where I tied in, and I'm going to get some of that cap hawk. And I'm going to go with this uh, March Brown here, this color right here, March Brown. Um, going to go with that. It's got, it's just got the right color for what I want here. So I'm just going to pull off just a wisp. This uh, cap hawk dubs extremely nicely, but extremely thin. You see how thin that just into a just that's thinnest little noodle. This stuff is so good for for so many things. But if you tie a lot of small, small dry flies. Oh, this stuff floats forever in a day, and it really, you can really get these noodles small, right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. I just want a bit of a bump here, a couple of reasons. Um, I want it to, uh, I want it to be, um, um, like, well, I'm gonna pull them out a little bit, pull this out a bit. I want it to act like legs, um, but I also want it to, to act as a, uh, backing basically for my wing so my wing sits up so now that i got that on i'm just going to take my velcro and just give it the lightest little brush down that's it i don't want a lot okay come back right up against that bulb and now i'm going to take two um of the darker green uh, this is the zero six from hens the slightly darker green um, CDC feathers. I'm going to take two of them. So I just got to dig through this pack just to find the right size and right shape and so on. Those two should be good. This pack is starting to get to the the niggly little bits because I've been using a lot. So I'm going to have to go buy some more from Mr. Gary Hankey of Fly Life Canada. So it brings in the hen. So I'm just going to, I want it to be about as long as the tail, maybe just like a, as the bend of the hook, maybe just slightly longer. So about there. And I'm going to just pinch with this hen. And then I can crank that down. <clears throat> Lift up. Cut my two butt sections off. Keep those if you want. You can use that for um, a lot of times. I'll, I'll keep it and I'll use that uh, uh, the the CDC as dubbing. So now I'm gonna get the number three from from hens. So this is more of a of a yellowy kind of golden yellow, golden olive maybe. Um, and just see if I can find two decent feathers in here. Again, this one is really worn down because I've been using this one a lot. So let's see if I can find two, if not, maybe three, depending on the size. If I have to get two that size, then I'll have to get three of them. There we go, three. Sorry, I'm doing that off camera, but so I've just stacked three little ones there. Okay, and I'm gonna lay that right on top and I want this one as long, if not just slightly longer. Just making sure these are these tips are even. About there. Got 
Again, tie that down nicely. Just make sure those are, yeah, those are pretty good. It's uh, separated just a tiny bit there, but that's okay. Once this hits the water, they'll kind of streamline anyway. So even just licking a little bit, my wetting my fingers just a tiny bit there just helped. So now I'm just going to come back up top, get a bit more of that uh, March Brown Capoc. And this is more of a cover-up for the, for the tie-in point than anything. Um, and it'll help float, right? The more flotation you've got here, the better, right? Um, you want this front end especially to float and uh, that uh, back end, the, the bend of the hook and stuff, you want that to sink with the body, right? Because you want that to be in the, in the water. So a couple of whip finishes. Just give that a nip. Now I can take my my brush again and just give this that cap off there just a little bit of a brush just so it doesn't look so um, unnatural and there's the finished little fly real buggy real um, uh, real buggy uh, floats really high the CDC will help it float forever that cap off will help it float as well and this will end up sitting in the water kind of like like this Kind of like, not quite like that, maybe more like that. That's how it'll kind of sit in the water. No, come up and take her from underneath. So um, if you want, you can pretty well do almost the same thing here. Like I said, put a couple of three little long um, little quills on the back uh, bottom end. I would use like a, just a couple of barbules off of a hackle um, and then uh, split these wings, right? Put one on either side and split them. It's, it's terrible there, but split them to make him more of a mayfly look. You want this to be more of a tent, um, and then mayfly you'd want it to to split, right? So, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, if you did, give her a thumbs up. If you've subscribed, awesomeness. If you have not, please consider doing so. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the uh, new music. I had this uh, music uh, made by uh, on Fiverr. Um, by a guy, I'm not sure where he's from. I think Portugal or something like that. But uh, I can, uh, I'll be uh, sharing it in the description. His uh, his name and stuff and his contact on Fiverr. So I just let him know that uh, I wanted uh, some intro and outro music for my fly tying channel, and just gave him a couple of samples of stuff that I liked. And this is what he came up with, and gave me four different samples. And I thought he did a really good job. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want me to tie in the future. And we'll see you on the next tying video. Tie lines, everyone.